Hello and welcome back. In this one, we want to add all of the details of our products every time we add a product. So I'm talking about updating these fields right here with information about a product as well as changing this product one and this product one to an actual product. All right. So what we're going to do is down here. Oops. Down here, we are going to get our text inputs for replacing our products all right so these are going to be these text inputs right here so we have disk in everything in basically so i'll just say self dot ids dot disk underscore in for input and for disk i'll just go with zero all right so for this one you can always change it to whatever discounts you have for your product if you have discounts all right so copy this paste it down a few times and this is going to be disk underscore pack and it's going to be 0, 0 0.0 actually it's just going to be zero this is what's supposed to be 0, 0.00 and here we have what else we have vat and total so this is going to be dot vat underscore imp and total and for vat we're just going to go with maybe 15 15 percent so this will be 15 percent and for total for total we are going to use the price of that product maybe let's use the total i don't know what can we use for total so for total yeah we're just going to use the price of that total of that product all right so this is going to be p price i believe p price yep p price and we have to change this to a string all right just like that control us to save and this should be done now so now let's change the name so the name is right here what we're going to do is change this to our name right here so this is going to be name dot text control us to save let's go down here and run this and i'll add that product again 9807052 and everything gets updated now we forgot the price and the quantity but the products now are working pretty great so let's add the product the quantity and the price as well so down here self dot ids dot and what is this one called qty and and price input all right so quantity underscore n so text is going to be equal to p quantity all right remember p quantity is right here and is this let's just make this a string to be safe all right so string of that And the price, of course, so self dot ids dot price underscore imp dot text is going to be equal to the string of product price. Control us to save and run this. And same product again. And now everything is working pretty great, I think. Yeah, I think everything is working nice now. So this is where we're going to stop for this one. Any questions, leave them in the question section. Like and share this video if you liked it. And check out the Udemy course. The link is in the description. It's only 11 bucks. So, you know, no sort of your pocket. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.